if our denominator or our divisor is not a monomial, we are going to use the long division method. Okay? And the division algorithm states that given a polynomial dividend and a non-zero polynomial divisor, where the degree of divisor is less than or equal to the degree of the dividend, there exists unique polynomials quotient and remainder such that the dividend is equal to divisor quotient plus uh, remainder. Okay, so we should illustrate the long division using the division algorithm in the following examples. So we are going to divide 3z cubed minus 11z squared minus 18z minus 6 by z minus 5. As you may have noticed here, our divisor is not a monomial anymore. This is a binomial. Uh, the divisor has two terms. So in this case, we cannot uh, use the methods in our previous example. So we are going to use the long division to answer this one. And the long division method is just like dividing real numbers okay, or dividing full numbers, just like uh, the thing that we do when we were in elementary or high school. So what we're going to do is to write the uh, dividend in standard form. Standard form, ang ibig sabihin nun, we're going to write the terms in decreasing degree. So since our uh, dividend is already in standard form in this case, uh, let us just copy it. Huh? So we have 3z u minus 11z squared minus 18z minus 6. Then we divide this. This is our division symbol and then divided by z minus 5. Okay? So the first thing that we need to do here is to divide the first terms. Okay? So we are going to divide this one, 3z cubed by z. Okay, these are the first terms. So what is 3z cubed divided by z? So we have 3z squared, right? So that when we multiply 3z squared and z, the answer is 3z cubed. But uh, then again, we need to multiply this one by the next term, a negative 5. So 3z squared times negative 5 is negative 15z uh, squared. Okay, and then do we do next? We subtract. Okay, we subtract. So the, uh, 3z cubed minus 3z cubed is 0. So this becomes 0. And then negative 11z squared minus negative 15z squared is positive 4z squared. Right, and then we need to bring down negative 18z here, negative 18z. Okay, and then just like what we did here, we're going to divide 4z squared divided by z. So 4z squared divided by z is positive 4z. Uh, so 4z times z now becomes 4z squared, and then 4z times negative 5 is negative 20 z okay the process is uh repeating right you just do the process again and again the so 4 minus 4 this is 0 negative 18 minus negative 20 is positive 2 positive 2 z then we need to bring down our last term negative 6 we bring down negative 6 and then we divide 2 z by z so 2 z divided by z is positive 2 2 times z is 2z, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And then finally we subtract 2z minus 2z is 0, negative 6 minus negative 10 is positive 4. Since we cannot bring any terms more down, uh, we have arrived at our final answer. Ano? So this one is the remainder. Okay? So we can write the quotient plus the remainder as 3z squared plus 4z plus 2. This is the quotient right here above. Okay? And then we need to add the remainder plus 4 over z minus 5. So this is the remainder part. So the answer to the question is this whole thing. Quotient and the remainder.
Now we use the long division method to divide the following 6x cubed plus 11x squared minus 31x plus 15 divided by 3x minus 2. So the first step again is to write the dividend in standard form. Okay. So 6x cubed plus 11x squared minus 31x plus 15 is already in standard form so we just need to copy the polynomial 6x cubed plus 11x squared minus 31x plus 15 then we divide this polynomial by 3x minus 2 Okay, so let us divide the first terms. 6x cubed divided by 3x is 2x squared. So we multiply 2x squared by 3x, we have 6x cubed. 2x squared times negative 2 is negative 4x squared. And then we subtract 6x cubed minus 6x cubed is 0. 11x squared minus negative 4x squared is positive 15x squared. And then we need to bring down negative 31x. And then we divide 15x squared by 3x, that's positive 5x. So we multiply 5x times 3x is 15x squared. 5x times negative 2 is negative 10x. And then we subtract negative 31 minus negative 10 is negative 21x, bring down positive 15. Negative 21x divided by positive 3x is negative 7. Okay, so 7 times 3x is negative 21x. It's negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14. Okay, we subtract, this is 0. 15 minus 14 is positive 1. So this is our remainder. Now we can write our answer as 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 plus the remainder 1 divided by the divisor 3x minus 2. So this is our answer for this particular example.